All right, today we're going to review dividing three digit numbers. So before we begin, let's review some important vocab words. So we have a division problem right here, and we need to know that the number inside this box here is called the dividend. And we need to know that the number going into the dividend is called the divisor. Okay, so the dividend is the number that's going to be divided, and the divisor is the number that's going to go into the dividend. Okay, there'll be another vocab word in, the, in a little bit, but let's go ahead and get started. So, we have 400, 78 divided by 5. So the first thing we want to do is think to our, we're going to go digit by digit. So let's start with the hundreds place. 4. How many times can 5 fit into 4? Well, it can't. It doesn't work. So we can just leave a little x there. We could leave it blank. We could put a 0 there. But we're just going to kind of leave it alone. And we can go ahead and do 4 minus 0, which is 4. We want to bring down the next place value, the 7. We just want to bring that down. And so now the next number we're trying to divide is 47. How many times can 5 go into 47? And this is where it's really important that you know your multiplication facts. We know 5 times 8 is 40. We know 5 times 9 is 45, and 5 times 10 is 50. So the best number, the closest number, is going to be 9. 9 times 5 is 45, and then we subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2, and 4 minus 4 is 0. We can go ahead and leave that 0 out for right now because it's not really going to help us, and it could just be in our way. Then we carry down our last number, the 8. So now we have 28. How many times can 5 go into 28? So again, we need to know those multiplication facts. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 6 is 30. Oh, that's too big, so we're going to go back to the 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 28 minus 25 is 3. So here's a new, um, well not new, you should know it, but here's a little reminder. That leftover number is called the remainder. Okay, so that's going to be part of our answer, and that's that leftover part is remainder 3. So our answer is 95 remainder 3, and the fancy word for the answer in math words, this is going to be called our quotient. So again, just to review, we've got our dividend, that's the number that's being divided. We've got the divisor, that's the number that's going to go into the dividend. We have our remainder. We don't always have a remainder, but when there is a leftover number, that's our remainder. And then the overall answer is called the quotient. So now let's try to do some more practice. And it would help to write this down because every time you write things down, it kind of sticks in your brain a little bit better. All right, so let's go to, let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna challenge you with a bigger number. 3,219, and sometimes you'll see it written like this, divided by four. This doesn't really help us. We can't really do anything with that. So what we're going to do is rewrite it as 3,219 in the box divided by 4. So our 3,219 is our dividend, <clears throat> and 4 is our divisor. So let's go ahead and get started. How many times can 4 go into 3? It can't. So like I said, we could put an x there, or we could put a 0 there. 0 times 4 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. Then we want to bring down our next number. 
So now we want to ask ourselves, how many times can 4 go into 32? And if you know your math facts, then you know that's an easy one. That's, an, that's 8. 8 times 4 is 32. And now we have a 0 here, but that's okay. We're still going to carry down our next number, which is 1. And again, remember I told you you didn't need this 0 here. We don't have to write a 0 there, but we we'll might as well leave it there. How many times can 4 go into 1? 0, 1 is the same as 1. So how many times can 4 go into 1? It can't. So we're going to put another 0 up there. 4 times 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, and we're going to carry that last number down. And it's 19. So how many times can 4 go into 19? Well, I know 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times 5 is 20. But we can't go over 19, so it's got to be 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 19 minus 16 is 3. So our final answer is 804 remainder 3. That's our quotient. And remember, I said we didn't need this 0 here. So we're just going to, we don't put that in our answer. That's not part of our answer, just the 804 remainder 3. All right, let's try another problem. This will be our last one. All right, so we have 272 divided by 4. And again, we're just going to ask ourselves, how many times can 4 go into 2? It can't. So I'm going to leave it blank this time. I used an x, I used a 0, now I'm going to leave it blank. So we still put a 0 here, though, because we need to do the subtraction. 2 minus 0 is 2, and then we're going to go ahead and bring down the 7. And now we have 4 into 27. How many times can 4 go into 27? Well, I know that 4 times 7 is 28. But that's too big, so now I need to do 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. And what I want to point out is where I put the 6. It's really important in math to be neat and organized to be able to see your numbers, but it's also really important that they line up. So we are not dividing into 2 anymore. Remember we said that 4 didn't go into 2. So I put an x there in the beginning, and then I put a 0 there, and now we're just showing it as blank but we need to still leave it blank. There shouldn't be anything above that too. So it's gonna go over the seven because right now we're doing four into 27. So four goes into 27 six times. Six times four is 24. 27 minus 24 is three. Now we're gonna bring down our last number. And we have 32. 4 goes into 32. If you know your math facts, then you know that that's an easy one. 8. 4 times 8 is 32. And when we subtract, we do not have a remainder. So our quotient is just 68. All right, good luck on your homework. Let me know if you have any questions.